folks, my name is Mark and uh, this is uh, UCD Videos. Uh, and what we're looking at today is the Neo Geo Pocket Color. So this is a uh, handheld that was released in um, Japan in 1998 and came to the United States in 99, 2000. Um, actually it was, in, it was in June 2000 I think. And uh, well, it's a uh, it was a competitor to the Game Boy Color, and um, it only lasted about a year or so. Didn't really go very far. So anyway, um, it's about uh, it's about the size of a Game Boy Color. Um, you know, a little bit thin. Um, it's very light, right? Uh, shaped very well, and uh, screen is about uh, oh. Yeah, I'd say maybe three by three, two by two by two and a half by two, something like that. Uh, the screen is 160 by 152 resolution, and you can show 146 colors on screen at any given time. Uh, okay, takes cartridges and um, runs off of uh, two AA batteries, which go back here, which last about 40 hours. They last pretty long. Uh, it's not a power hungry thing. And it also has a lithium uh, backup battery, which um, on my unit is actually dead. If I were to open this up here, if I had a screwdriver. Well, anyway, it's in there and, um, you know, I have to change that out because it won't save anything. So we got the screen here, A and B buttons. This is an option, like a pause, okay, power button. The cross pad is actually not a cross pad, it's like a little mini joystick. You can hear that clicking. Hear that? Works good with, uh, you know, half circle motions and stuff for fighting games. And actually, I wish more handhelds had this type of little joystick because this thing rules. It's really, really easy to use. Speakers there. Uh, okay. Cartridges come in the back here. And if you see them, they're about the size of uh, two Game Boy Advance cartridges on top of each other. Right? Um, it's a pretty nice little unit, and then we got uh, here's the extension port, so you can link two player games together. And on the bottom, you got volume, and this is headphones and 3D uh, AC adapter goes right in there. And uh, so it's a pretty nifty little unit. It's very um, uh, it's very light, very portable. You can fit it in your back pocket. This was actually um the color version of this. There was a uh, Neo Geo Pocket which came out in 98 which was black and white. This actually has a color screen and uh, there's about 85 games for this which um, only about 20 of them were released in the United States. So I got Sonic the Hedgehog in here so let's check it out. So to turn it on you gotta press and hold the little button right. Let me see I can get this to look through I don't want to get the glare on the camera there. Okay, you see my little my little sub battery is dead, so it's not gonna let me save nothing. And let me move that just a little bit forward. See, I'm trying to get that glare off. Okay, you can see that, right? Let's zoom in just a little bit here. Doesn't look half bad, huh? So let's start it up. Do a little bit of a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog here. Okay, it's not a bad little machine, you know. Oh, okay, it actually did save it. All right, I think I'm gonna need uh, this is uh, this is like World Two, I think, but I'm gonna have to change that pretty soon anyway. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, this isn't gonna let me out of here, is it? I don't know. You know, honestly, I know people are going to hate me for this, but I never really was much of a Sonic the Hedgehog fan to begin with, you know? Like, and you want to know why? This is why. Watch this. See? And then when he jump, he doesn't jump up, he jumps to the side. That has always just bugged me, you know? Like, he's supposed to be this super crazy hedgehog speedy person and he can't even, like, walk up a hill. It's like, that always bugged me, but I don't know. I guess Sonic is alright. I kind of like the 3D ones more. I mean, I know people are going to, like, call me names for that and shit, but I don't even care. 
But anyway, you can kind of see, you know, the screen's actually very nice. It's, it's not uh, backlit, unfortunately. You know, which I think the... I think we, um... It loses some major points for that, not being backlit. But, uh... You know, because at the time, 99, you know, they had backlit screens, which are affordable. You know. But anyway, alright, that's enough of that. Let's, uh... Let's do a different game here. Uh... Okay. So I have... 10 games that came with it actually when uh, when I bought this it was in a uh, it was in a um, plastic thing and it had 10 different games so we have Fatal Fury and this is Match of the Millennium which is uh, um, actually it has like Samurai Showdown characters and with other ones too Puzzle Bobble right Puzzle Bobble is always cool Samurai Showdown 2 Pac-Man Turf Masters, right? Not a bad game. Uh, King of the Fighters R2. Last Blade, which is just like Samurai Showdown. In fact, it's like the exact same game. Samurai's and shit. And Metal Slug First Mission. So let's do Metal Slug, since you can never go wrong with Metal Slug. You know, love that game. And uh, it's really not bad. You'll, you'll, you'll check it out. How much time we got here? Oh, yeah, plenty of time. Alright. Let's turn her on. Alright. Gotta arrange that. Okay, that looks pretty good right there, right? Yes, I understand. Sub battery is dead. Memory failure is imminent. Makes it sound like it's gonna explode or some shit, huh? Memory failure is imminent. Okay, let's do. Metal Slug. Rebel Army's weapons facility, blah 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go. Send Metal Slug. Destroy the friggin' weapons. Alright. Let's go. Okay, now... See, it doesn't, it doesn't look half bad, huh? You know, we got uh, some parallax scrolling going in the background. Apparently this is a 16-bit console. You know. Um, sound... You know, not so good. I mean, graphics actually don't look half bad. You know, they look a lot better than uh, the Game Boy Color does, which was the main, you know, competition for this thing. But, uh... Anyway, but yeah, see, you see the music is a little sparse. But, uh... Good, uh, good graphics, good animation. Color of the main characters isn't really too crazy. You know, ah, oh, prick! You bastard! Die! I just shot him like six times. How come he didn't die? All right. Okay. Wow. Anyway, all right. Never said I was good at it, but let's do a different game here. Let's try. Okay, there's a lot of different uh, fighting games. It's SNK, that's what they're known for. Let's do Samurai Showdown 2. I was always good at this game back in the day. But, uh, probably not on this thing. Alright, let's turn it on. Yeah, yeah. Samurai! Summer Shutdown was always cool, you know. Alright, yes, yeah, start. Alright, let's do it. Who are we gonna be? Ginger! Ormaru! Anzo Atori! There's also these new, like, I have no idea who that is. You know, or Sogetsu, or Jubei is always dope. Alright, we're gonna be Ukyo. Ukyo kicks ass. Slash I'll bust. Slash. Still coughing. 20 years later. Fucking still hasn't died. Okay. So you can see the. Graphics, they're like little munchkin, you know, type, uh, super deformed type deals. 
Oh, you prick bastard. Alright. There we go. A little too far away. I don't know. I used to play this back when I was uh, going to school, back in college. They had one in the lunchroom. Oh! See that? I have no idea how the fuck I did that. <laughs> Just run with it, man. I don't know, I'm kinda... That one, alright. I was expecting that, but... Uh, Samurai! Tatsuyaba Gukyo! And how come the chicks didn't come out and... Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, you prick! Hey! How come he took off, like, so much more? Anyway, I'm playing, I should be talking. Uh, I don't know. Alright, that should have connected right there. Seriously. But there we go. That's right. Fuck you, Jubei. Oh, the chicks didn't come out and chase him. Whatever, anyway. Alright, enough of that shit. Turn off. Off, off, off. Turn off, please. I guess I really gotta change that battery, but... Anyhow, alright, so, uh, yeah, it's a nifty little console, um... Uh, you know, they're really not that expensive nowadays, you know, if you go on, uh, eBay, um... You can get one for... Uh, you can get one from between 30 to $50, depending on how many games are with it. Um, since they were released in the U.S., they're really not that uncommon, but, uh, eh, you know. Uh, is it worth having? Um, actually, yeah, some of the games are really good. Um, you know, if you're a Metal, if you're an SNK fan, if you're a Summer Showdown fan, you know, a lot of, some of the games you're not going to get, these versions at least, you're not going to be able to find on other, any other handheld. Um, I guess you can just download the ROM for it or whatever, but it kind of defeats the purpose, you know, in my opinion. Um, it's a nifty little, neat little handheld. Uh, would have helped a lot if it, if the screen was backlit, but can't have everything. So, um, uh, anyway, it's uh, highly recommended, folks. So, adios.